Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I want to do something real quick for you guys. I probably won't be on today. My little love buggies. I got lots going on. Alright, so happy Monday. Let's see what we're looking at. Just briefly. Um, I'm gonna try to get some I'm gonna try to get some raw loves out. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I hope you did. I have a lot um a lot going on. Cade's sick with like a hundred and three fever. Jade went to vacation and took the red eye, so I was up all night. Lonnie got in a car accident yesterday, so I was worried about her. So it's just, it's chaos. My energy is like, whoa. So I'm going to be behind the scenes <laughs> for today, okay? But um, <clears throat> everyone's good. So it was a crazy, crazy weekend. And not to mention today, the winds are like 50 miles per hour winds. It's insane. So... But the sun is shining, so let's see what we get for you guys, okay? Monday, Monday, the 25th. Ooh, I can't wait for March. I can't wait for March. So we have the two of wands. Okay. This is seeds that are already planted. This is something that either is going to come into fruition, already came into fruition, or is like I probably already said it coming into fruition. Okay. And it's it's two people. Alright, so starting a journey, starting something new, new business, new relationship, new situationship, new friendship. All right, and we got the Princess of Pentacles, so, you know, working hard, all right, bringing in money. Um, if you're not, you're about to whatever this new business venture is, okay? Um, so to me, she's looking in that direction. You know, to me, it's already saying that somebody might have already kick-started something, and then two will partake, or just two go on the journey, or this could be exterior, because, you know, sometimes three can be better than two. I guess it just depends on what situation ship, okay? Um, but it looks like somebody's already working on it and already started the journey, okay? Or you're about to, you're considering, what should I do? Do I want to be an entrepreneur? Do I, you know, um, do, you know, some of you, this is not a promotion, but I can feel it, I can see it, all right? So... This is a love situation ship. So we have the two of cups. So for some of you, you're definitely about to go on a journey with somebody that you care very deeply for. Someone already started the journey. Somebody, you know, you're both probably on your own journey type situation, but I feel like somebody already started a business here. Somebody's already working on something or vice versa. Man or woman it just depends on who's in what energy okay so tell me about the two of wands two of wands so now you got two twos okay and you got justice so <clears throat> this is making she or he is making fair and just decisions Okay, evening out the scales, balancing out the relationship, grounding the relationship. Um, it, it is kind of, it's to me, it's like I'm seeing the wheel. So to me, it's it's bringing you where you're supposed to be. All right, this is, we talk about good karma, bad karma, this is good karma. Okay, it's something's going to be justified for you guys to get on the same path. Tell me about the princess. The Prince of Pentacles. That's why I say it's work-related. You know, it's the Prince of Pentacles. She's dedicating time into it. She's got a sack of money next to her. She's, you know, she's ready. 
and the three of wands so I don't know if she's thinking about somebody from the distance you know because she's her back's turned to that, okay? So I'm not saying your back's turned to love at all. I'm just saying, basically, this one is so focused on her journey. And to me, she knows something is very destined, okay? So it's kind of like, or maybe this is a message I'm supposed to give you guys so you guys know, like, listen, it, it's going to fall into place, okay? Tell me about the Two of Cups. Because she's looking right up and over here. All right, thinking about her future, tending to her future, starting a business or starting paperwork, going back to school for your future. You know, it's it's that type of energy. Tell me about the Two of Cups. You could be taking like a, a major exam, you know. So we got the Knight of, uh, of Swords. All right, so this is a messenger coming in with a message and... You know, they are sharp. They can be witty. Um, but it looks like the knight is coming in with a message. Her back's turned towards it like she doesn't see it coming. Whether you have the inner knowing or not, you know, I, I think at this point it's like you're just starting your future regardless of the situation you're in. And things will fall into place, especially with justice here. You know, so if it's meant to fall in the place, it will. If it, And that song just came to me. If it's meant to be, it will be. Baby, just let it be. Okay, so you can look at that either way because I just looked at that either way. Um, so this is, you know, let's see what the night's bringing. What type of message? The Fool. All right, so again, either way. All right, it is a leap of faith, but, you know, The Fool is... Like freedom, you know, like happy, go lucky, taking a leap of faith, travels lightly, you know, but also wants a new start. Also t knows how to take a leap of faith. Is also letting the universe guide them. All right. So it looks like, you know, she looks spiritual because she's already looking to the stars, worried about her future. Not even worried, working on her future. Okay. And this one looks like they're ready to take a leap of faith. All right. So... Let me just clarify this three for you. Uh, you know, for some it might be a third party, but not at all. Not in this situation. Not the read we have today. You know, this talks about her future. She's looking straight at her path. All right. So we have the sun and we have the king of swords. So she's... This three is... Could there possibly be two different men? Yeah, but I don't see it that way. Okay, this is more like... You're about to get that clarity. Whether, you know, you guys can be at a distance from each other. You guys aren't even together. Somebody could be halfway across the world. Someone can just be in a state over or two. You know, it could be a situation like that. You could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, Earth signs as well. All right. So this is, this is you, this is you getting the clarity. So... It looks like they're going to bring you that clarity. Okay. Sooner or later, here it comes. Okay. And this was today's energy, but it takes some time sometimes for things to, to roll in, as we all know. Okay. So enjoy. Enjoy your day. Um, I'm just going to pull one card for today, your best advice for this situation ship. All right, and um, I'll be back. I'll be back. One card for Tay regarding the situation. Ship one card. All right. Two came out. Queen of Swords with the Six of Pents. So. This is somebody who's, she's very sharp, she's intelligent, she doesn't deal with no bullshit. Sometimes she can be ice cold, but she's looking at the Six of Pence, and Justice was on her side, but at the same time, it's like, someone wants to balance out the scales, but look at her face. 
or she's saying let's you know balance out the scales when I grabbed them initially initially it was like this so her back would be turned towards it so I guess it just depends on whatever situation ship you're in because right now her back is turned towards this but this could be an amazing woman too and you know thinking about donating to charity foundations something like that or you know she's watching this particular gentleman but might be a little ice cold or your best advice would be I just saw a spackle off of that um, you know it is this attitude you know sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of an attitude or it's just saying watch your attitude and try to ground the situation <clears throat> tell me about the Queen of Swords real quick too many came out guys too many came out Queen of Swords Queen of Swords Swords, Queen of Swords. Maybe it doesn't want to give me anything, and we're just going to leave it at that, okay? Um, nope, gave me something. The Death card. All right, but she looks feisty, too. Hooey. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, you know, I pulled best advice, so I guess it's saying, you know, you got two women here with quite the attitude, and with the Six of Pents being there, I, I think it's saying your best advice is to legitimately drop drop the attitude and balance, ground something, ground whatever situation you can, because the Death card is, is, is to me, is saying the best advice would be, you know drop whatever it is if you're holding on to something or if it's an attitude or if you know you need to cut something out of your life then cut it out of your life and go ground your situation or if this has to do with the lover situation to me it's it might be saying you know like drop the whole ice cold open your heart chakra ground the situation okay so it, it's 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 really up to you at the bottom of the deck was the princess of chalices so I mean look at with the star but I mean look at the difference of, of faces and looks you know what I mean so to me it's kind of drop the attitude and ground the situation if there's an opportunity but again something might have to die too like if that situation that you in that no good and you got to drop it and say you know hasta la vista then hasta la vista okay so it's that type of energy too and then go ground your own situation shit so I guess it just depends on what situation ship you're in, okay? I hope this helps. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.